Hey everyone, Dave here, and tomorrow I'm gonna be doing an overnight, and I thought I would get a bushcraft kit video loadout before I went out there and did my overnight. It's gonna be snow, it's gonna be wet, it's gonna be raining. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna expect. The weather says rain and snow. Um, it's gonna be right around freezing is one of those kind of in-between times of the year. We're in February, we're kind of transitioning into spring, but we haven't, we just had a dump of snow. Um, you saw my last, one of my last overnights, I had snow in the middle of the night and it would, you know, Otherwise it looked like it was a nice time, nice green forest to play in. So I don't really know what I'm gonna be up against when I'm out there, but it should be, I'm hoping it's gonna snow and not rain, honestly, cause I, cold rain kinda sucks. <laughs> so let's get right into it. Why don't we start with the cutting tools that I'm gonna be bringing with me. For my knife, I'm gonna be bringing the Nieto Tirano N690 stainless steel. Got a nice flat grind, I like the handle. It's a perfect bushcraft knife and it's uh, gonna be my only knife on this trip. For the axe, I will be bringing the Halt Force Haltan hatchet. This is my favorite bushcraft axe at the moment. Um, I think you got a length of about 15 inches on this one. It's a perfect size for a packable bushcraft axe that you could still two-hand it. A little bit bigger than the Grants Force Brooks wildlife hatchet and a little bit smaller than the uh, what's the the Grand Force Brooks, the 18 inch one. I forget the name of it at this moment. For the saw, it will be the Silky Zubat. Very much like this saw. I like how it deploys, how it sits on the belt. This release system here is super useful when you're, um, you know, just want the saw off your belt, on your belt. It's a very, very good saw. Probably the best bushcraft saw, in my opinion, that you can get. Probably be bringing my bushcraft grill. This is a Drix Outdoors bushcraft grill, but you can get you can get ones on Amazon for about 20 bucks. This is a good purchase. I might cook some food on it, and if I don't, it's just good to level out for putting, you know, boiling your water, having coffee, and all that good stuff on the fire. Got a nice bag of cordage in here. I always bring with me some variety, which uh, you know, some jute twine, some kind of paracord stuff. This is a few different ties of different paracord, uh, you know, wrapped together to make a, a hillbilly rope, basically. Um, just other random lines that came with other tarps and um, masonry twine as well. That's a good one to have. And I have a few stakes just to make things simple. Uh, if there's snow on the ground, it might be a bit tricky to find, you know, it just, bringing stakes just makes it so you don't have to carve them out there. It saves a bit of time. I bring three flashlights with me, um, mostly that's because I'm filming, you probably don't need three, but I have a little through night T1 that can clip onto my hat that I kind of use as my headlamp. I like this light very much, it's probably my favorite one. Uh, this is the Olight Warrior X Pro, it's very very powerful light and I do like it. It's pretty bulky though, you don't have to bring it if you don't want something that big and the other light is just a wow tack uh, very similar in power to the through night yeah even though the through night is very much smaller for shelter i'm just going to go with a standard hardware store tarp that's probably i believe is 10 by 10 i can't fully remember they're not very expensive i think i paid 20 dollars tops for this one this is a one tigress tarp and i believe it's 10 by 12 or it could be 10 by 10 i can't fully remember but they're both pretty big large tarps. I do like having that size. It's nice. You can do more configurations. You can cover yourself a bit more and I'll probably make some sort of tent like tarp system with this one and then put the other one over top so I can have a nice sleep. Testing out a new sleeping bag. It's just a mountain warehouse and it's comfortable down to negative four degrees Celsius or 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, Extreme is negative 30 or negative 22 Fahrenheit. I highly doubt that you would want to be sleeping in a bag at that temperature. In the middle it says negative 11, so I think this will be perfect. I don't think it will be colder than negative six. It's probably gonna be like negative four at nighttime. I got a Four Seasons self-inflating sleeping pad Gear Doctors. Never tried it out, I'm gonna try it out on this trip. I was making do with kind of some old gear and my sleeping bag, it's like comfort level was like 10 degrees Celsius. So I did need to get a few things that could make my uh, winter trips a bit more enjoyable, especially since we're getting colder winters than normal. And I don't have to think about building shelters and keeping myself warm with a fire all night. Got the uh, trusty dollar store bath pillow and the trusty dollar store knee pad for my pillow and for my sit pad. 
my survival kit, basic survival kit. It's got a few goodies in here. Fire starters, lighter, you know, flashlight, spare contacts, pills, you know, tin foil, mirror, band-aids, tape, water purification. A good amount of stuff in this guy. This is a Possible's pouch. This is also just a dollar store pouch. There's lots of good stuff at the dollar store. Uh, toilet paper, foil mylar blanket, uh, candle that I've been using. This is the second trip it's coming on. Dollar store fire starters. I do have a bit of steel wool and uh, compass whistle. Thermometer, cheap one. Band-aids. Again, uh, you know, a little bungee to hang the bag on a tree if I need to. I'll be bringing leather gloves and probably snow gloves on this trip to keep my hands warm. It'll probably be pretty wet and cold. I'll probably bring two pairs of gloves. My clothing will just be, you know, I'll have a winter jacket, some rain pants, rain gear, and a bunch of layers, neck warmer if I need to, and obviously a toque. Cooking setup will be a stainless steel water bottle, one liter, and I just got the uh, Stanley mug, Amazon mug. They nest into each other. Usually do a stew and a coffee in separate mugs, water. The bag that I'll be bringing with me is the old Mountain Smith bag. It's got enough pockets and really it's just comfortable. 60 liter bag, a bag's a bag as long as it carries your gear. It doesn't matter too much. As long as it's fairly comfortable for, you know, I, I only hike into the forest like probably an hour. I don't want to be, you know, four hours hiking to bushcraft and film. I try to hike in, you know, an hour. So I'll drive down some logging roads, hike in an hour down a creek, find myself in a, you know, a place with no service in the middle of the forest and hang out. I also have bear spray attached to my hip just in case I run into some wild animals or some wild hooligans in the middle of the forest. Um, I don't own a gun, so I probably would bring a gun, handgun if I had one, but I don't. So bear spray, that's uh, my self-defense weapon of choice. <laughs> also bring the uh, pocket bellow. Absolutely love and very much enjoy this guy. It's a pretty, pretty long one, and it's very nice. Very handy, small, light. I would highly recommend you pick one of these up. They're not very expensive, and they work very well. Well, I think that's pretty much it. I feel like I'm missing something. Um, usually I feel like I'm missing something every time I go out, and it's probably because I don't have, you know, the 10 other knives in the closet over there with me. <laughs> uh, please let me know if there's any gear that you particularly like or that you would bring as well doing a trip like this. It's always nice to have ideas from you guys too. It inspires me as well. So I hope you go check out the overnight video. I'll probably be posting it after I post this gear one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the overnight. If I, if I survive, obviously. I haven't done it yet, so I have to actually do it first. But uh, hopefully I will see, see you on the next one. <laughs>